Hello again, I am Blunt, and if it wasn't especially obvious, I am an YouTuber. I make videos, and like any creator who makes pre-recorded, edited, and published material, I obliterate storage space. And while I generally publish in 1080p, because 90% of the content I make won't really benefit from being published in 4K, especially when a little over half of you actually watch me on your little phone screens, I do usually work with 4K source files as it gives me a lot of flexibility in the edit. So I can crop in and not lose any resolution like this. And while for reasons I haven't traveled in two years, once upon a time I travel several times a year and that means editing on the go. And that means my laptop has to have its own big chunk of storage. Often I do that with external drives, but I prefer to have a dedicated internal drive for the video work because it saves clutter and cables and extra stuff to carry around and connect to when I'm working in. It makes it easy to work in small spaces like airline economy tray tables and such. And with some hope that this year I might be seeing a future where I can once again travel and with the first few hints that my favourite gaming convention, which has been cancelled for two years running, seems to be planning and hoping that they'll reopen as an actual IRL live person meet space event again this year, it's time to think about my mobile editing again. To that end, I need to install a dedicated editing drive into my laptop here and as if the fates themselves willed it, WD sent me an email asking to take a sponsored look at their newest refresh in exactly the family of drives I have been using for this purpose for years now, the WD Blues. And uh, hooray, actually held it up the right way. I didn't think about that when I tucked it into my little pants back there to whip it out right way up. So here is Western Digital's latest internal storage solution marketed towards content creators, amongst other work that needs fast, reliable, stable, and large storage. The WD Blue SN570 NVMe SSD. The Blues are perfect for this work because it's the best bang for buck when it comes to size and performance. I mean, I choose the higher end, bleeding edge stuff when it comes to gaming and stuff like that, but for the work that needs to get done, this is the sweet spot. Now actually installing one of these in a laptop has always been a bit more of a careful process than a desktop rig requires. More screws, smaller spaces, a bit fiddlier, but if you've never done it before and are a bit trepidatious about it, there's no need to actually fret. It's easier and faster than you think. And quite honestly, you have to work pretty hard to screw it up in any major way. Unlike desktops, laptops have much less consistent internal layouts than the average desktop, so you want to check with your manual, usually easily available on the brand's website, because nobody ships paper manuals anymore, uh, just to help out and make it easier and know what you're looking for and where it is. Biggest tap tip though, use a magnetic tip screwdriver, because the M.2 retention screws are tiny, and if they hit the floor, they will vanish into a pocket dimension for exactly how long it takes you to forget that you dropped it and then to walk barefoot through that space again. Thereupon it will re-enter this dimension and your foot. So, while the WD Blue SN570 NVMe SSD in particular, for me it comes down to a handful of things. First and most importantly is reliability. I've been doing this video guy thing for well over a decade and a half, and from I don't even know how many different spinning disks and various evolutions of SSDs I've had passed through active duty in all those years, upgrading as size and speed has asked of me, I've come to have a solid trust in the reliability of WD stuff. So, while this is indeed a sponsored video, those of you who know me well enough know that I'd not even take their money in the first place to do this if I didn't trust the product enough to recommend it to you or to actually use for myself. And I do. Both of those things. Specifically, this family of drives, the WD Blue, is ideal for content creators like me, for video or indeed photography or whatever, and you know many other kinds of content creation, but for me I'm all about the, the video and photography stuff. Uh, what we need is large, fast, reliable, and above all else, consistency in performance, and that's what WD Target the Blues for. That's what they make them for. The most annoying pain point for me when I'm editing is having my timeline judder and stutter around as I scrub through, because I tend to edit fast and loose with a certain rhythm to it, so I need consistency in performance and speed so that the data gushing back and forth isn't jamming up my workflow. If you have ever done sort of particularly time sensitive uh, video editing work from 4K source files and things like that, like if you are on the road editing stuff that is perhaps, you know, time sensitive because it's just been announced at an event or something like that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is a nightmare when just the, the, the speed of the data getting to and from your editing interface is just the thing slowing you down. It feels awful. It's like in gaming when you hit frame rate stutters and things like that. It's just, it 
crashes you out of the rhythm you're in. And ah, oh, I hate it. The next most important thing, of course, is size. WD sent me a one terabyte demo unit here to test out, which when I'm on the road for a three day weekend for a convention in the past has proven to be the perfect size. At home, I go larger, much, much larger. But depending on your needs and budget, uh, the WD Blue SN570 NVMe SSD also comes in 250 gigabyte and 500 gigabyte. And of course the one terabyte that I have here. If until now you've been working from the older style SATA SSDs, uh, you can see up to a five times increase of speed out of these NVMe M.2 drives. And when working in 4K or more, you'll need it. Even if you're not working in 4K specifically, but sort of 1080p low compression or lossless file formats and things like that, if you're doing heavy grading and things like that, it's... But you don't need me to tell you how to suck eggs. You know what you need, I hope. And that's why you're watching this video in the first place. So big thanks to WD. And let's all hope together and pray if you have any faith that I actually get to take my newly upgraded laptop out on an actual real trip sometime this year and edit on the go and actually take advantage of the newly upgraded SSD inside it. Ah, thanks also, of course, to the patrons who are scrolling up above there, whose uh, above and beyond support, literally and figuratively, is extremely valuable. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Hope along the way you've done the thumbs and the bells and the subs and all that sort of stuff that helps YouTubers do the YouTube thing. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.